special loose group of the old moving pictures taken in Boyle River of the National Men's Long Distance Swimming Championship Race, sponsored by the Paramount Swimming Club. The signal was given, and some of the best swimmers from all parts of the country start their long seven mile ride from Lipton Beach to Sandy Beach. by Adelard Menard and the late J.W. Lecomte, starting with one horse and wagon, a fleet of eight trucks are now maintained. One of the largest power plants in New England is used to operate the North End Laundry. Twenty large extractors wash a capacity of 5,000 pounds of clothes an hour. In the finishing department, 18 girls skillfully finish the clothes using the most modern presses. This Paramount Road steam iron finishes two and one half tons of flat work a day. The Joseph A. Bowen Company claims to be the oldest coal dealer in Fall River. The Bowen Company delivers all gasoline and oil to the American Oil Company from their bulk plant on Davil Street. At the same plant on Davil Street is the city's newest gasoline station operated by Joseph Bowen Company, which uses the latest price computing pumps. The dough mixing room at the Gold Metal Bakery. This newest type oven has a capacity of 1,000 loaves a day. Visitors are always welcome to this bakery. For the last 20 years, the Gold Medal Bakery has catered to the largest hospitals in Fall River. The Service First Motors Incorporated, four dealers in Fall River, was organized in August by Mr. Christ, Mr. Clark, and Mr. Aitken. At the Ford Sales Room at 241 Pleasant Street can be seen the latest models of Ford V8 motor cars, also a variety of display of genuine Ford parts and accessories. Take a ride in the new Ford V8 and your own one. The Rotary Club of Fall River was organized 13 years ago and has a present membership of 67 members. Robert Austin is a Rotary president, Junior Sokol vice president, James Brigham is treasurer, and Charles Waymer is secretary. The Rotarian's chief interest is nursing back to health undernourished children, children of Fall River. The best owned service store incorporated at Pleasant and 16th Street is managed by Ken Jones. Fall River's headquarters for the famous gum dip school students are apparently glad to be back to their studies at the senior high school. Incidentally, this is their first day in school. And are they glad to be back? Main office of the William C. Atwater Company Incorporated at Cold Corner, 150 South Main Street, Fall River. A view of the Tidewater plant of the Atwater Company, where ocean-going tankers and colliers are continually unloading their products. This oil and coal plant is one of the most up-to-date on the Atlantic coast. Oil fuel is loaded at this plant and delivered to homes using oil burners. The oil truck driver inspects all oil capacity in homes. 
Trucks include modern dispensing apparatus with predetermined meter, pump, and extension hose. These inspections are routed and are made at regular intervals during the heating season. The Old Colony oil burner is manufactured by a subsidiary of William C. Atwater Company. For service, call 7920. Fifteen years since most dealers organized the Fall River Dairy Company, Incorporated. Mr. Charles P. Davis is president, Mr. Whitaker, treasurer, and Ernest Gillette is a clerk. All these trucks are iced to protect the milk in transit. The milk is scientifically clarified and then heated to 140 degrees thermostatically. The milk is then cooled to a temperature of 40 degrees. After the milk reaches the cooler, it is automatically bottled and capped, untouched by hand. Every bottle, after being soaked in a strong alkaline solution, is brushed inside and out. Besides milk delivery, cream, butter, buttermilk, and chocolate malted milk, and cottage cheese are some of the Fall River Dairy Company products. The service call 4422. Every Cape Cod shirt is cut to exact pattern, quick size, solid comfort, and style. All Cape Cod shirts are stitched by girls who have had years of experience. Every shirt is examined to be sure the size of collar and sleeve length is exact, and there are no threads left in the shirt. Every shirt is steamed and pressed by hand, which takes more time and is more costly. Cape Cod shirts are made from finest broadcloth to retail at prices from $175 to $5 each at all leading Fall River and good stores throughout the country. What's this? Well, it's a scene taken right in Fall River. And quite a few faces look familiar in this crowd of thousands who figure in the recent textile strike which engulfed the nation. Fall River's newest modern bakery, owned and managed by David Conklin. You can judge the size of the American Bakery Company's business by this army of employees and 12 trucks. A water metering device is used to service the stove mixture. A complete automatic makeup unit scientifically molds and weighs the bread. Loads are baked in these new rotary ovens daily. That healthful, sunny boy bread is wrapped by the synchronized bread wrapper and slicing unit. On the second floor of this modern American bakery is the cake department. Here's a huge wedding cake in the finishing stage. Donald L. Jane of his promotion, and in the course of a little personal broadcasting, pops the age-old question. Of course she will. Signing off, station L-O-B-E.